Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. It's gone really well so far, honestly, since I've been back. We'll ignore that, I think, Judas run that ended the streak. But anyway, Cellar 1. DQ1Z. Dairy Queen 1. Zebra. Wait, I'll make it work here. Four very sweet fondues. You, Dairy Queen needs a zebra if they're going to make those fondues, dog. Those don't grow on trees. Let me check my brain. No, cheese does not even in a roundabout fashion grow on trees. Well, actually, all the atoms and matter on Earth are just recycled, so an atom that was part of a tree could have been part of a delicious, you know, Swiss fondue and something. Shut up, okay? You're, you're being pedantic. Person I just made up in my head right now. So many tinted rocks and yet not a single bomb to blow them up with. That's okay. This room's not so bad. Uh, I prefer this version of the room, I think, to the version of the room that is similar to this, but has the, you know, the dingles on it. One bomb. Probably best to use that right here. If we get a spirit heart, uh, which we don't, but we get two bombs. Okay, let's save that discussion for just a second. We could use a bomb right here, and if we get a spirit heart, which we did, we can then come down here and go to our curse room. And okay, it ended up working out just fine regardless. I'm gonna do a little bit more exploration first here because there's the possibility that that room with the key there is uh, actually a library. If that library were to have Book of Revelations, then there is a chance that we could actually finally achieve fourth level Meat Boy. I've stopped talking about real Platinum God just because at this point, it's kind of like, it, it's a specter, you know, it's my white whale. The, through the law of, oh, oh that's an item so bad, it made me gag right off the bat, but um, I guess we can find a use for it. Anyway, a little bit overreacting. You know what, let's try something here. Kill, uh, get two birds stoned at once here. Um, it, it could happen if it happens, you know, thanks to the law of large numbers, Based on the sheer amount of time that I play this darned game, uh, eventually we're gonna get fourth level Meat Boy. It'll happen. That's just, it's not even a consideration. What I'm concerned about is uh, how long it'll take, but you know, we don't, we don't have that much control over it. So stopwatch is like an instant win, and I kind of find it an annoying item, to be honest with you. So I think I'll take PhD. And then I'll actually take the pill that comes with it. There's a free health upgrade. That, now, that isn't just a compromise for me to be like, well, you know, I'll make sure the run is still entertaining. It's more like, like I don't have fun when I use stopwatch most of the time. It just makes the rest of the game kind of a, a drag. But if I was playing a run where, like, I was concerned, if it, we were late in the game and I was concerned about my chances of winning, I would pick it up. We're early in the game. Everything's going just fine. Plus, by picking up PhD, we kind of made, you know, new cane into old cane. Look who we got our canes on now. All pills will be good. It's not like PhD is bad or like, you know, it, it, anything like that at all. The all stats upgrade from Halo is great. We doubled our HP. All other stats get uh, plus a certain amount. Two consumable keys here, uh, plus spirit hearts that pretty much guarantee we'll get a deal with the devil here. It's a very, very good start. For a cane run. Plus PhD, which, uh, you know, now we don't have to be nervous about pills for the rest of the game, and it opens up some trinkets. Safety cap, I guess. In a more roundabout way, anything that augmented, like, how often something like a uh, bottle of pills could work. But anyway, that's, I'm getting ahead of myself here. You can buy a bottle of pills from the shop, though, so it's, it's a possibility that that'll show up at some point. Anyway, uh, we found our secret room by accident, and we got the quarter, so that is gonna pay for another item in our shop here. We have enough keys to open that up for sure. And unfortunately, ah, that's not totally true. I was seeing if like maybe the secret room bordered a special room. I've taken some really bad damage on this floor thus far, but I've, this room and this floor specifically, or this floor and this room specifically, yeah, that was, I got trapped by a poop there. I pretty much deserve whatever happens to me on that one. We might as well be making sure that we use Shoop the Whoop as often as possible. Again, if you didn't watch the last episode, I may have to apologize for some construction noise here. Paralysis and Are You a Wizard? Wow, two of the best good pills for sure. 
Um, I can hear them hammering away on the roof. You probably can't hear it, but I can hear it. Not because my hearing is good, but because I'm closer and, you know, it's got to go through the microphone and stuff like that, uh, which makes it less likely to happen. Skinny Odd Mushroom. Yeah, I like it. I like the, the rate of fire increase. I believe it does come with a damage downgrade modifier, but not one that's considerable enough for me to be overly concerned. Uh, there could be drilling soon. Not in the game, but on the roof. So if you hear it, you know, I hate to take this approach, but it kind of is what it is. I can't really, uh, I can't really do too much about it. I think we'll take remote detonator and then drop it. And I'll basically just consider that like the cost that we, that we paid for those five bombs. Uh, 48 hour energy with Shoop the Whoop is not amazing. But it does do the trick. Well, it does do something at least. We're gonna have to buy that spirit heart. I'm embarrassed, honestly. Unless this is, uh, balls of steel, which it is. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be the worst idea to buy the spirit art in the first place, I guess, but um, I guess if I'm being honest, we probably should go back all the way back here and make sure that there's not a library that has Book of Revelations, just to be sure, because then the 48 hour energy pill would be great, plus the better chance of getting the Meat Boy stuff. Um, but this run's looking pretty good right now. Anyway, what I'm getting at is basically like I can't edit out construction noise in post. And I can't just, like, end the run, because I want to continue the streak, and it, it's unlikely to be just persistent drilling, but if it is, oh my god, I think somebody just fell up there. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but that's my natural defense mechanism. Um, it, it'll be funny, maybe. I don't know. You know, you gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta do what you gotta do. I just broke my brain, I guess, uh, and took a spirit art and a half of damage from walking on spikes there. That's a Mathis level move right there. Alright. I'm done poking fun at Mathis. He does the same to me. Don't you worry about it. I'll buy the spirit art to give me a good chance here, and then we'll just recoup, get mentally prepared again. Let's check for, uh, maybe an eternal heart in the second secret room. Wow. A little bit of bad luck there. Larry Jr. is, like, the ideal enemy to be facing with, uh, Shoop the Whoop. And there's not very many enemies like that with Shoop the Whoop, so you gotta take what you can get. Yeah, yeah, this is awesome. This is amazing. So we're gonna have Death's Touch for the second run in a row. I don't expect to hear much complaining about that, because it's a really fun item to watch and to use, in my opinion. Plus Ceremonial Robes, it's basically just a huge damage increase, plus Penetrative Tears right out the bat. We are, uh, we're in a very good position. Curse of the Maze. I'll open it. Yeah. 15 cents puts us in a position where we can obviously, uh, Pick up something from our shop that is not so fantastic damage. I think by this point in our last run, we had Holy Mantle, and to be honest with you, that might have spoiled me a little bit, but uh, we're still in such a good position here in so many different ways that uh, I'm not very concerned at all about how this run is shaping up, to be honest with you. The Fool card is the kind of thing I would love to have if we were still Old Northern Lion, who only cared about boss rush mode, but I'm New Northern Lion, who's turned over a new leaf and is, is living clean here, so... I, uh, I don't care about it as much. There are still some uses for it, but none that I'm going to really consider that important right off the bat. I'll open it. There's another Tinted Rock over here as well. Wow, without Mom's Key, that still ended up being an extraordinarily useful chest there. And we'll check out our Curse Room, and we get the Pentagram for free. All right, we are on hard mode, right? Like, And we all got a good trinket as well. Uh, somebody up there must like me right now. Free damage upgrade followed by... Uh, Master of Unlocking, which is really good, especially if you can manage to snag, like, a... Guppy's Tail would be nice. We'll see. Plus, we've had two HP upgrade pills. So, you know, the RNG has worked out pretty nicely in our favor. I mean, part of that might be due to the PhD. Maybe those used to be health downgrades, but... Can't really complain either way. Just got a Fool card. We're holding 48-hour energy. Mom's bra. Probably better than Shoot the Whoop. Only takes a little bit longer to actually charge. Um, yeah, it's probably more useful. I'll roll with it. I had kind of a soft spot for how Shoop the Whoop was working out for us there, but so be it. And we'll start using Mom's Bra on like actual rooms and not just boss rooms on the next floor once we have a little bit more time to prepare. Double Dingle, huh? Well, this is really bad news for them. Because of our penetrative shots that also deal a stupid amount of damage, so... You know, you better charge pretty quickly. I don't understand how with two health bars, somehow you both lived until the end of it, but that's okay, I guess. Free HP. We still have a shop coming as well, and we have enough money to buy an item. 
and a consumable, which for me would probably be a pill right now, because all our other consumables are doing well, and we have PhD. And there is a pill, so we'll get Champion's Belt for sure. Damage up. Not sure if the challenge up does anything, and I should have paid closer attention to our pills, because then I would not have purchased Paralysis, but that's okay. 48 hour energy plus mom's bra is decent. Now we're going very quickly, but it's not because I want to do boss rush, it's just because we're doing a lot of damage. And if we do boss rush, what a happy accident. Depending on the items that are in it, of course. Anyway. Uh, well, we've already had Shoot the Whoop once, it could show up again. That does happen from time to time, that's how you end up getting stuff like two dead cats. Um, in the game, not in my real life, god no. Uh, but, uh, it didn't happen there. Instead we got a troll bomb. Which really just is, is the perfect description of what Envy is anyway, it's just like the ultimate troll from Edmund. Hardest mini boss gives you the shittiest items. It's like Kanye West said, man, the prettiest bosses do the ugliest things. Uh, kind of in reverse, though. So you got 48 hour energy there. Um, yeah, that was a deep cut. That was not a recent Kanye West jam. Anyway. Let's see what we've got going on in our... Hey. In our item room. Uh, sad bombs are lovely. They don't... Eh, maybe they do become scythes. This is a bit of a tough call. I think I'm going to stick with uh, Master of Unlocking, even though AAA Battery does make uh, does make it so we could use Mom's Bra every other room. It's a it's a bit of a tough call, though. Hmm. Anyway, Sad Bombs is good. We should be able to uh, use that effectively. Really, like, Sad Bombs has saved a lot of runs for me since I've started giving it a little bit more attention. Uh, it does, if you do a lot of damage, sad bombs placed right next to a boss, oh, they do do sights, okay, can do so much extra damage on top of that, it's disgusting. Well, that's not going to be our secret room, but this could be. I was looking to the right of this area right here. Um, like, it, it really does destroy bosses. Hopefully we'll have an opportunity to check that. Uh, might buy a key, but I might just save our money. We'll see. We'll see. Now, if you can find a black market, no, that's fine, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm loving this run right now, actually. What's this? Two of clubs. Let's double that up. 22 sad bombs. As far as I'm concerned, that's probably 11 bosses dead right there. But we'll, we'll save it mostly for uh, the super, super late game, if it's necessary. I should be using Mom's Bra more often. I said I was going to use Mom's Bra more often. We haven't... Really had too many opportunities where it seems immediately useful, but there have been some rooms where it didn't seem immediately useful Then I ended up taking damage and I oh, you know mom's bra probably would have been pretty useful there. Oh Man, I just realized too. mom's bra plus sad bombs basically means don't even jump don't even jump um, let's See if we get a deal with the devil we do basically means we can freeze a boss and then straight up. Oh, man We're looking awesome right now uh, straight up put a sad bomb next to them and just blow their face off. Headless Baby's good. Guppy's Paw's a bit of a weird one. I'm gonna take it and use it once. Keep one red heart so we can take a red heart deal instead of spirit heart deals. Gives us the Guppy precedent. We have a pretty good chance of getting uh, HP upgrades just via pills in the future. Yeah. I kinda like it. Bit of a weird one, but I think it's okay. Wow, there goes that. There is one of the spirit hearts that we earned. Uh, well, there go two of them, so I'm not feeling that smart right now. That's why I'm hesitant to call one runs too early. We did just get a speed upgrade, I guess, in my own defense. Is there a spirit heart in here? There's a spirit heart in here. Half price, too. All right. Feel less bad about it, but still pretty freaking bad about it. Um, there's a lot of potential second secret room opportunities. We'll check these two. Just to save as many bombs as possible while also having some chance to find it. But this is fine. We're still doing very well. And we're a little bit ahead of the curve. If we get a teleport card that's convenient for us, boss rush could be on the table. Uh, apart from that... You know, I think a bomb in this situation would be awesome. Yeah, that uh, saved me from wading into that pool of despair right there, which I think was... Probably likely to lead to me taking damage. Speaking of which, I should stop trying to tank these boss or these enemies because uh, it's putting me in a situation that is not fantastic. Hematemesis. 
So I'm going to stick with hematomesis for now. My reasoning is if we find a second secret room with like a black heart on it, hematomesis will pay out with black hearts or with eternal hearts. Maybe we could get three eternal hearts instead of just, you know, one or two. Um, so I will be making a little bit more of an effort to look for a second secret room. Obviously something like blue map would be advantageous for that right now. It, it's probably good to use mom's brother, but also irrelevant. So the virus is pretty solid here. Well, it's pretty solid almost always, but I'm happy to have it, is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, I forgot, by the way, that we do have... Oh, it's a second hematomesis. I'll use it... And then I'll... That's a health upgrade, I remember. So we'll pop that, get this. I don't want to use the other hematomesis for the blood bank. I do want to try to save it for a, a second secret room. Whether or not that's going to be possible is another thing, you know, altogether, but we'll see. Bit scary. And our item room ends up being a question mark. Roid Rage. Uh, it's okay. Okay at best, I would even say. So for one heart, we can get two hearts. Or for half a heart, we can get a full heart there. So we might as well do that. Plus, they gave us enough money to go to our shop and uh, purchase an item if there is one. I guess any room that has enemies that jump or teleport is when I should probably be using this uh, Mom's Bra play. Anyway. Uh, or a room like this, which is just full of assholes. It's another situation where probably a bomb would also be viable. Instead, I uh, played a little too conservatively and very nearly got myself hit. And still <laughs> could have gotten myself hit at the end there. It's a good run. Why do I feel so... Suspicious of it right now. Broken. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what I get for not buying regular stopwatch, I guess. I'll use two bombs for this. I don't care. That was not worth it. Might as well pick it up, I guess. So we're going to be looking for a second secret room, typically close to the boss room. I mean, broken stopwatch is not bad. It's just kind of annoying. I mean, we went through this on the last run. I was like... I said exactly the same thing. I think Broken Stopwatch isn't bad, it's just kind of annoying. On rooms where it slows enemies, great. On rooms where it makes enemies faster, well, I mean, the opposite, not so great, but it's not that bad. I think it's disproportionately good, which is good. I gotta look for it, man. I gotta look for the second secret room, no matter how, bomb, how many bombs it takes me. Ah, good, good, good. Ah, it worked out exactly according to plan. That was unexpected. So let's come back, and we'll, uh... We'll get our... We should get our HP, but I also want to get that 48-hour energy pill. It's not so useful with Mom's Bra, but you can see how it would be useful with Mom's Bra, but it's not that useful right off the bat. But um, it's really, really useful with a lot of different spacebar items. In fact, I could have used it with Book of Sin, but that would have cost me the one red heart container to begin with, so it's a little debatable, I guess. I almost hope we just fight Krampus here, because... Uh, the Krampus fight has guaranteed payouts, whereas any other deal with the devil might give me a little bit more of a dubious kind of payout, you know? There's the value of sad bombs right there. So we get super bandage, which is amazing. Uh, and now, actually, at this point, I wish I was not fighting Krampus, because we now have more HP. But anyway, got kind of like a cool undulating wave here with those things. We get a lump of coal, which is... Fine. I was kind of hoping for Krampus's head just because of 48 hour energy plus Krampus's head that could kill pretty much any boss in one, well, three fell swoops. But, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's passive. It's good. Lump of Coal is probably better than Krampus's head. That was not a good dodge. So, much to some people's chagrin, I am going to leave this timer up for now. Since it rock. Uh, I'm going to leave this timer up just on the off chance we find a teleportation card. But we have enough time, we're in a luxurious position where we're in enough time, or we have enough time to do our due diligence on the floor and also have a good chance to do boss rush. Which I think is when you should. <laughs> Instead of trying to force it on every single run, I did have this attitude like, oh, people would be like, every run can't be a boss rush run. I was like, fucking try me. Check this out. Oh, I'm dead, but yeah, I got the boss rush anyway. Um, and that was a bad attitude. It was a positive attitude, but it was bad for my... Isaac health. So Lazarus's rags. I mean, they're not that good, but it gives me a gives me a chance at redemption if things go terribly wrong. This is the room that uh, 
48 hour energy was basically made for, uh, Mom's Bra was basically made for here. We may not get a teleportation card, and if we don't get a teleportation card, we'll play it by ear whether or not we choose to do boss rush. This room is slow, which doesn't help me very much at all. This is kind of what I was hoping for, is a greed fight to give us some money, but now that I realize, like, where we, we're not going to have an opportunity to use money, and we're, we might have an opportunity to use money on a judgment, we literally have zero opportunity to use a steam sale. And it doesn't even make it so steam sale won't spawn later. We can end up with, you know, two or three or even more of those on one run. Sometimes. That was terrible dodging. I'm very happy we took the death card in here, I'll tell you that much. I doubt these will be second secret rooms. Oh, they were. Well, it was. We got three bombs back there. Um, I'll just blow this up. It, and it was literally worth it. Now, we have done this entire floor uh, in terms of, like, the useful rooms. Great use of a key. Very happy with that one. Um, we are going to do a little bit more exploring just on the off chance that we find something amazing. If this is a secret room, that would be nice. It was not. Lump of Coal also, of course, synergizes with sad bombs in our current situation, and the, the scythes are going to do crazy damage. Especially the further away an enemy is. Um, we probably have, you know, maybe like another seven or eight rooms, maybe even a little bit more than that. So, I am expecting to get some good stuff here, and the fact that there's a cursed room there is really nice. We already have Guppy's Paw. One Guppy item would go a long way towards making the transformation conceivable. Broke even on our trip there. Didn't get any guppy items, but that's okay. He said begrudgingly. <laughs> is the tone of his voice betraying his true feelings? Wow, instead of having seven or eight rooms, we actually had like four. And our 15th cent, unfortunately meaningless. What a tragic story. Let's try for a secret room here. Lucky us, we actually will... Oh, three pills, too. Balls of Steel, maybe not the best use for it. Hematomesis won't be... Use I'd use Balls of Steel again. Why am I saving this 48-hour energy pill? Might not even be worth anything. I just threw two spirit arts down the drain, basically. Oh, well. Um, Because the enemies are slowed, I don't think we need to worry about... Uh, you know, using a 48-hour energy pill here or anything like that. Or using Mom's bra and using 48-hour energy on Mom. Okay, so that's that. Uh, if we find some good skull opportunities, we might blow them up, but... You know, one bomb for one skull, especially with sad bombs being so offensively viable, I don't think it's a great trade. 1914. I'm gonna try this. I know it's not gonna be a second secret room, it just seemed like a fast way to get through that, so we traded a bomb for three cents. Not good. Well, we'll still do boss rush, if the item is good. If the items are not good, then we will not do boss rush. Throw this down here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, okay, man. Those sad bombs are very strong. This is a bit of a tricky one. So the only two I'm considering are Shielded Tears or... Um, or Forget Me Now. I think I will do this for Shielded Tears. And you know what? We'll use 48 Hour Energy. Oh, that was dumb. Uh, and we'll just, we'll, stop walking on the creek. We'll pop the mom's bra plays on the hardest waves, and then we'll put a bomb down. Yeah, so I, I do think this is worth it, even though we've taken some damage. That didn't kill Carrion Queen. I guess, like, most of the sites probably hit the part of the body that was not actually vulnerable. Anyway, our damage is great. We finally found a use for 48 hour energy. I get to tickle my uh, boss rush itch in a more productive fashion. Unfortunately, we did lose the sights. I mean, we still have the, the value of them, but we've lost the visual effect of them, which is one of the reasons, it's one of the, one of my favorite things about that item is just the way it looks. I'm normally not that superficial in terms of Isaac stuff, but uh, it, it sucks a little bit to lose that. But uh, the, the value is really, Penetrative shots that also block all enemy bullets. It, it makes things super easy unless you do a very stupid dodge like that where you're not even firing in the same direction. And it really, really kills uh, some enemies in particular. Like, Loki just gets fucked. Mom's heart just gets completely fucked. These guys, it barely affects at all. 
I guess Lazarus's rags gives us anemia even before we die. I probably knew that. I just had forgotten about her. It's the kind of thing that's such an issue. Like, it, it helps you rarely, so it doesn't really matter. I'll get rid of that overlay there. Obviously, I was hoping for something maybe a little bit more uh, of a dramatic improvement in terms of our boss rush room. But, uh, you know, lost contact. It's one of the most, qu I mean, people respect it, but it's one of the most quietly kind of, like, excellent items in the game. Especially if you have penetrative shots, so you don't have to worry about your, um, your offensive ability being compromised by it. Which does happen from time to time. So I'm thinking it'll be when, um, oh, that was just terrible. When, when Bloat and, uh, Mask of Infamy show up, that'll be when I pop, it's so stupid. That'll be when I pop the, uh, Mom's Bra Charge. You gotta be dead, man. I'm... Oh, they died at the same time. They were, like, exactly equal. Alright, so this is probably the easiest... Eh, maybe the Hollow will be a little bit easier, but... It's one of the easier waves. I think we've got a, we've got a one run set up here. I also think that maybe the hitbox for... <clears throat> Pardon me, I just turned 12. I think maybe the, uh... The hitbox for Death's Touch might still exist. It's just the visual effect, because our our shots seem to be blocking more than just the size of our individual tiers. Could be mistaken. Do penetrative tiers work on this guy? Of course they do. Ah, you know, we took a little damage in the process here, but um, all in all, I'd say this was a pretty productive boss rush that is going to help us out a lot as things progress. Plus, we have one more item at the end here. I almost... Well, I almost forgot to mention it because I almost forgot that it was like a real thing. You should... Yeah, I was gonna say. This can't go on forever here. The only thing that would have been better than this is if we had uh, somehow gotten Broken Stopwatch to work on this room so that we slowed every single one of the enemies. That is just terrible damage on my part there. Don't hold that against the game. So we got one last wave. Uh, you know what? Let's throw one of these down. Can't hurt. I just walked over some more uh, creep because I'm an idiot, apparently. That's a, that's a decent bomb. And we're done. No, we're not. We got you left. All right. And we're done. Must hit a poop. Wow, okay. Um, yes, I guess. <laughs> I can't really say no to Epic Fetus in this situation. But that does... I wonder if the shielded tears will still work. Our damage is going to be stupid. Now we need the ability to fly. And the ability to not take damage. But anyway, that, that should set up... Oh, we can open that for free. That should set up a win here. I really want to fight an enemy. We should get the opportunity here. But I want to fight a boss that has like higher HP so we can see if we're one-shotting it. Uh, we're... We're close-ish to one-shotting Chubb. Chubb's an enemy that is a little tanky, so... I feel pretty good about that. We're not one-shotting Monstro, though, so... Could be better. Oh, well. This should be a win at this point. Judas's tongue. You know what? Yeah... It's only... <sighs> we should probably take this. Judas's tongue is only going to be useful... The maximum amount of HP that it would save me is... Three, which wouldn't wouldn't mean that it was actually saving me three HP. It would mean it was giving me another deal with the devil. Um, but that would have to be we'd have to get a deal with the devil on this floor, which is likely probably the most likely outcome. And then we would have to, uh, on top of that, have three deals on the deal, which is very very unlikely. That very rarely happens. So I'm I'm a little bit thinking that Judas's tongue is not going to be that useful. Plus, I, if, maybe it's a good thing if I lose all my HP, you know? If we get Horror Babylon or just even permanent Polaroid Invincibility, that could be worthwhile. Alright, get out of there. Grab this, then we should be able to play like crazy. Contract from below. Or Missing Page 2, sorry. Uh, best part of Missing Page 2 right now is probably the fact that we did get a black card out of it, but it is what it is. There's a little bit more HP for us. Hopefully we can go into that curse room for free. But it wouldn't be on this room. Yeah. I think we're probably going to have to bite the bullet on that one. 
Let's do it. I mean, if we became Guppy, it would be awesome, so... <clears throat> I'm willing to give it a shot. Plus, we broke even, and then we got Guppy's tail, which definitely vindicates me for keeping uh, Master of Unlocking. <clears throat> so we're one Guppy item away from becoming Guppy with Epic Fetus and making everybody the angriest people of all time. But hey, man, that's the way the cookie crumbles. We got a good setup. I'm not going to mess with it. I believe I am making, quote-unquote, the right plays right now. And we did Boss Rush. Epic Fetus, Boss Rush, Guppy Chance. I don't even know. The internet's going to explode. Speaking of which, by the way, we probably should use Mom's Bra at some point. I don't know why that's speaking of which. It's just a, you know, it's your boilerplate segue. Um... But we should use Mom's Bra at some point. I just don't know when to use it. If we use it on Fistula, would we not have to fight the other Fistula parts? That would save me some time, which is a, it's a highly motivating factor right now when I just want to be fighting bosses and, like, foreshotting them so I can move on. I'm assuming that the bombs from Epic Fetus will spawn flies. Otherwise, you know, what are we going to spawn flies from? Just, like, the creep from Headless Baby? That would be, that would be poor. Let's go left. When when you have the opportunity to, it's always best to go for what look to be like terminals. Best chance of giving you the boss fight that you so desire. Man, no more rooms like this. Give me like those double cage rooms more so than these rooms with just a hundred enemies so that I can actually get through them relatively quickly. All right, that sucks. We got a lot of potential dead ends here. They all died. There's my very um, erudite commentary for right now. They all die. That's how every story I've ever written goes as well. Once there was a boy and a girl, they all died. The end. Really safe. Everybody dies at some point. We all know how it ends. I'm just cutting to the chase. Let's go here before we... Uh, it's rotten bait. I mean, it's good, but it's the same deal we had like last time. But I'm going to take White Pony this time for the ability to fly for free. That's good. And it probably, you know, cements are very likely one run here. I mean, I could have not taken Epic Fetus and just stuck with the what we had, which was already great. But man, I don't know. I can't say no to Epic Fetus. It shows up pretty rarely. I'll say no to Dr. Fetus, because I think it's still pretty bad unless you have, like, uh... Uh, homing bombs. You have homing bombs. I think it's actually pretty sweet, but I don't know if I've ever had homing bombs with Dr. Fetus because I'd have to get homing bombs first. And that just halves the opportunities right there. Oop. Yeah, it was an uh, extremely poor play on my part, especially considering, you know, we are fighting a doppelganger, but we don't actually fire tears. I had no reason to be standing right next to it. That's okay. It happens. We are in a situation where we're pretty much having to coast on the available amount of HP that we kind of started this situation with. Not started the game with, but started this, uh, you know, since the, the womb started. Sometimes you have uh, the opportunity to pick up more HP in the process, but we're not in that situation yet, anyway. I am looking for Tinted Rocks whenever possible. It's unlikely we'd be able to win the game with the amount of HP that we have remaining. We're probably going to need a Spirit Heart or two to, to keep us going here, but, uh, you know, we should be able to make it maybe to the chest like this, and then with the items you get on the chest, who knows. Certainly our flies are doing a nice amount of damage. Can we spawn one more right there before we go into the next room? I just... <laughs> I tried to use Mom's bra there is what happened. I was like, oh, I had a theory about fistula, and then I forgot that we weren't using Mom's bra anymore. The other thing that we could do, by the way, and this is, you know, obvious but annoying to me in particular, thank you for the spirit heart, um, is we could... Uh, Bomb our way through, like, every room until we found our boss fight, but... I don't like playing with Epic Fetus that way. It oftentimes ends up screwing me, to be honest with you. Like, I start going too quickly, ignore the fundamentals, and take a lot of damage in the process. I think it's better to just, like, walk in, kill one enemy, and then the whole situation sorts itself out pretty quickly after that, one way or the other. Oftentimes, it's actually quicker to just kill the enemies than it is to... Well, no, that doesn't make any sense. That's me talking out of my ass. 
All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this because this gives us a good chance of becoming Guppy. We're gonna come in here. We're gonna see what our boss rush room has. Okay, nothing conceivably that useful. I wanted to see if we could get like a half red heart, but I'll take a full red heart. That's fine. And then we're gonna play the shit out of the spirit heart generator, aka fortune teller. Wow, that is a lucky get. I guess it was blue fistula, so that makes sense. Um, and we found our secret room by accident. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll play that mostly for spirit hearts, but maybe we have a good chance of getting, or a decent chance of getting some uh, trinket action. Although I don't really want to replace our existing trinket. We already have Guppy's tail, so it could be useful. Anyway, let's go hard on this. Just Wow, good luck for us. We are Kane, so I expect to have a pretty good chance of getting you know, like a lot of spirit hearts out of this. I don't really care about getting the blood bag. But as many payouts as we can get from this fortune teller, the, well, the more we can get, the better, I should say. Would I like to have the tower? No. Would I like to have uh, crystal ball? Not really. Appreciate that balls of steel pill, though. Now we want tower, tower or paralysis. I guess we want tower, because we have sad bombs, right? Yeah, those are going to do a lot of damage now. We should we should try making use of those. Could be fun. Uh, and the tower, does the tower activate sad bombs? I'm going to assume that it probably does. I mean, because the, the sad bombs have penetrative shots, so I almost feel like they might be better at fighting envy or something. Yeah, that, that's actually pretty good. There's a tinted rock there. That somehow I didn't explode until the very end. It, honestly, like, Bob's Rotten Head would have the sad bomb impact as well, which could be funny. I don't want to use all my sad bombs, but we've been encountering, like, a lot of rooms where sad bombs have been pretty nice to deal with uh, the riffraff we're facing. Yeah, that, that went very well. Not that I would expect it to go not so well. I mean, we are, again, in a fantastic position. I'm just saying, the, the sad bombs are functional in addition to all the other tools we have at our disposal right now. If only I could actually see where I was going. Maybe we could, uh, you know, finish this floor and move on to the cathedral. I know that's a tall order. Why, why not at this point? I'd rather have the I'd rather have the spirit heart, but with the regenning HP, it's the kind of thing that could be a little meaningful. Sure, two of spades took us to thirty. Um, I think we're probably totally fine to just do this. Like I'm thinking, we do that, and we sneak in and put a sad bomb like right next to mom. I didn't do as much damage as I thought it would actually, but uh, that was a little slow. And this should do it right here. All right, up to the cathedral. This is, at this point, pretty much a guaranteed win. We can look forward to that next Judas run. Judas is one of my favorite characters to play as, but he is a little riskier. Slightly riskier. I don't want to oversell it. You know, the, the HP is a little bit of a, a sore spot, but guaranteed deals with the devil almost always make up for it. Almost. Uh, oh, okay. Accidentally uh, blew myself through the door there. That's okay. Wonder what uh, Tammy's head would do in this situation. I would get rid of uh, my white pony, my ability to fly, basically, for a little bit of, of Tammy's head action here. I guess we would have a chance to see what it was like first. Don't get rid of your bombs so easily. What a waste. Not as much of a waste as that HP was, but. All right, we gotta hit the spider. Mobile enemies are the most annoying. Please. Thank you. Tinted rock should help. A little bit. 33 keys? I don't know why I was so excited to double our keys. I mean, it's not like we're going to come across 15 double key rooms, but I guess it was just because my other option was the tower card, which we could take with us regardless. Gertie Jr. should have basically no chance here. Flies are doing pretty well. I would love, like, Pyro at this point. Or more bomb synergies. I don't know if they actually work with Epic Fetus. Thank you, Fly. I don't know if they actually work with Epic Fetus, but, you know, to make Sad Bombs even better. Because Sad Bombs are still my favorite part of this run. Epic Fetus be damned. I mean, not really, though, because it's super good. But, you know, in a metaphorical or rhetorical way, that's what I'm going for. Not metaphorical. Eh. We're already at the HP cap, I think. Or, at the very least, we're close enough to the HP cap that I don't give a shit about, you know, having to pick up the Bible later. The Sun card, 
we'll use it on the next floor to make sure that we can speed through things a little quicker. That didn't actually cost us a key, so I don't want to hear any bitching about it. Yeah, it's the principle of the thing. No, it's not. But it is. Yeah, but I'm telling you, it's not for reasons. Anyway, don't question it. Mega Fatty is, uh, <laughs> don't, uh, just ignore that damage. Mega Fatty, easy enough for us to kill here. And there's our Spirit Heart back. And that's not a Spirit Heart. I'm trying to get uh, all these blown up, just in case we're not at the HP cap, but it's unlikely to matter too much. This has got to be the right way. I think we've gone every other way. We'll go back and check on that. Just a force of habit to get out of there as soon as possible. Lucky me. Petrified poop, probably a little bit too late in the game to be particularly useful. Guppy? Guppy? We got like nested chains of guppiness here. What the heck is even going on? So we were at the HP cap, and we did not become guppy despite having seemingly infinite number of chances to do so on that little room right there. What a strange situation. Damage is out of control. How long does this shit go on for? This is crazy. And every single one of these rooms that takes like six button presses is just like, ugh, come on. Hopefully we can kill everything with a death card right away. Oh, all right. And we one of those rooms. Fly took care of it. Good. Good. Yeah, being able to one-shot the haunt is pretty nice. I guess I'll admit that. Well, don't you know start the parade yet, but it does appear that we're gonna be at victory lucky number of fucking three in a row. Takes us three percent of the way to that triple digit streak that I wanna happen at some point in 2015. We're we might as well just do it right now, right? We're well on our way. It's kind of a cute way of beating Isaac, which I resent actually. I'm the guy I like the fundamentals, you know? Just give me a high damage, a warm steak, and a cold beer, and I'm happy. But the sad bombs are a really fun item to use that I, I can't deny the, the siren song of them. No left hand action. Curse of the Lost means the sun card is basically worthless. Um, the prayer card. The black bean. <laughs> Doctor's remote. Scapular. Not amazing. By any stretch of the imagination. But we do have the full health sun card instead of using it as a map plus compass, I guess. That's... There's something to be said for that. It, it, I don't know if it makes our chances of survival any better, but it certainly doesn't make them worse, I guess. You know, I just re well, that's pretty good. When I thought that Lazarus's rags gave us anemia or anemic, I realized that what I was actually looking at was headless baby. I think. Took me long enough to finally connect the dots there, but uh, at least I got it before the end of the video. This is a fast room. I'm going to put a sad bomb in the hopes of uh, making it even faster, if you know what I mean. How are you not dead? I thought I saw you open your mouth and go like, rawr, like you were dead. But I guess you were just happy to see me. Now, with our luck being so high, I would expect to get a decent number of golden chests. Another sad bomb never hurt anybody right here. That hit, it actually, literally, that sad bomb didn't hurt anybody. Sometimes I should learn to be careful what I wish for, I think. enough. Headless Baby is picking up a lot of the, like, detritus kills here. That's for you, Dark Bomb. That, was, that use of the word detritus, though, that's for, uh, that's for you guys out there in comment land. Don't even try to tell me it's pronounced detritus. Because you're right, but you're also wrong. You're right that it's pronounced detritus. You're wrong that everybody pronounces it detritus. You gotta learn to live with these alternate pronunciations, dog. No red hearts there at all. Not an enormous surprise, I guess. Even though I put on my enormous surprise voice. That's alright. We found a secret room in, uh, instead. Hopefully with a lot of red hearts. Uh, or a single eternal heart, which I guess, I think it does give us one more hit. Golden keys. Almost entirely worthless at this point. One sad bomb should really clear this out. Yeah. One more enemy. Rotten Baby took care of it. And we got 10 extra bombs. That's actually pretty good at this point. That might be the happiest I've ever been to get 10 bombs. Yeah, that was... That was bad. We've got to be approaching our boss fight, though. This seems like a relatively cut-and-dry floor in terms of its, uh... Like, level structure here. 
Extra key. Yeah, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? All right, with this uh, dark one dead here, maybe a slow Isaac fight? No. That was very dumb of me. But with Lump of Coal, the shot will do more damage if it lands, but less of the shots will actually hit. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a one run. Even if we didn't add the Sun card, it would be a one run. With the Sun card, it's just, it's a comically one run. And that Sad Bomb might do it. Along with the DOT. Now I'll finish it off with Epictetus. There you go. Easy one. Flies are dead. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll be moving on to our Judas run next. If you did enjoy it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.